Today, we're going to do something, well, something I've done in the past, but we're going to experience it in a whole new way. So as you all may know or may not know, but I've becoming more one with nature the past few years. Well, this year, more or less, because starting a garden, this is all so new to me, getting my hands in the dirt and all that. But also with enjoying, Mark and I have always enjoyed our outdoor patio or I call it my haven in the spring, summer and fall. But we're going to go to the Pullen Forest. I have asked Mark if he would come along with me tonight. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of break in weather because it's raining right now. So let's pray for a little break. And we're going to experience something together. It's called forest bathing. Okay, so no, we're not going to be bathing in the forest. So in other words, we're going to spend time in the forest to unwind, to renew, and to refresh, and take time to listen to what nature wants to tell us. Now, you all know that I love, love, love uh, following different YouTube channels, and I like seeing what people do in their part of their world. Same like those of you that don't live around here like seeing what we do in my part of my world, and I'm learning so much. This really intrigues me and I cannot wait to get to our pollen forest today. So this is going to be a fun little road trip that we're going to do together, even though it's just a mile away. So before we head out, though, speaking of embracing beauty, I want to share with you also one of my newest supplements that I have been taking for the past 60 plus days. And um, when I first read about it, it uh, first talked about how it helps the appearance of fine lines and um, it's it's not an injectable it's actually taken in a supplement form so I'm like well I want to know more about this so I wanted to share with you all today it's called Hyrocera and it's a newest their newest one of the newest supplements from a ritual and you all know I'm the biggest fan of the multivitamin and uh, the probiotic and prebiotic and so I was like, yes, I really do want to try this. Anything that's going to help my skin, I'm all in. So there's two main ingredients in this supplement. And the first one is Ceratique. And in a clinical study, this helped reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And then the next one is Hyabest, which is a hyaluronic acid that helps improve the fine lines and wrinkles and bring luster to your skin. And so all basically is what I do is I love that I can just take these every morning along with my other supplements. You can take with or without food, which is huge for me because I'm not an early morning breakfast eater. So I do have a code for all of you. All you need to do is click on this code here on the screen for 25% off your first order. As you all know, I am just so excited to be able to add another item to my supplements, my daily supplements not only make me feel better but look better so of course i want to thank ritual for sponsoring this portion of today's video well i just received a text from mark and he said it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a window of opportunity for clearing so i'm going to go ahead and i might even pull my hair back because it's going to be a little bit misty and we're going to head to pull in forest to enjoy some forest bathing today Just looking at my Kenra can and I wanted to tell you guys Walmart is having their glow up event they have prestige brands that are majorly on sale I think it's free shipping maybe two-day shipping or something like that I got this in two days free shipping great sale you do not find these kind of sales on prestige products so um, I'm gonna let why don't I I'm gonna go through the sale there's so many good things and maybe I'll list like my uh, 10 top favorites or something like that in the description section for you guys because huge, huge sales. When I pull my camera out today, it made me think about that. So, all right, hair's up. Mark's on his way. We're going to go do some forest bathing. I can't wait. <laughs> My 
husband always says that spring starts on the floor of the forest. Towards the middle to the end of April, our forest blooms in a lavish carpet of deep violet hues of the blooming bluebells. We are about one to two weeks early to take in the beauty of this magical scene, but soon enough, they will make their appearance. Obviously, we are back home, and I have to say that was such a lovely time at the Poland Forest. The weather was just perfect, a little bit chilly, um, a little bit damp after the rain, but uh, I really just went in there um, with a sense of just peace. And normally when you go into a forest or take a walk in the woods, you know, I'm just taking a walk and you're chit-chatting and talking. Um, but in this instance, Mark and I just really relished every moment of uh, looking at the nature and the trees and the beauty of those beautiful bluebells that were just starting to make their way through the soil. And uh, just the sounds of the creek running. It was just beautiful. And Mark said, you know, this is something that you and I should do every week. And I said, absolutely. It was just so wonderful. And also when we left, we, we reminisced about when we were little kids, we always would go to the forest for, you know, different things. Like for me, it was like brownies and stuff like that. But, and for Mark, it was just with his guy friends, you know, and they're little uh, doing stuff there in the forest. They always had little events when we were children growing up but you really never appreciated it like we did today. Uh, so I highly encourage you, if you have the opportunity to take a walk in a forest, to just listen to nature, let it speak to you and just take it all in. It was so refreshing. I feel so renewed. So now I'm home and I can just go for a lovely hearty soup. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make some more broth because I do have much more of my little bits that I froze. And I even have some leftover vegetables uh, that I made for Easter that I froze to add to the soup. It's gonna be so delicious. So we're going to make a chicken vegetable soup and I think it's gonna be just fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, friends, I know some of you had asked me if I can share with you how I do the heatless curls. So I am so exhausted, but I thought I would show you tonight because tomorrow, it's tomorrow hair wash day. I don't remember. Anyway, I want to do it tonight and I'll show you the curls in the morning again, but I thought I'd show you how I do it. Okay, so you can tell I'm exhausted. Okay, so what I do, I leave my bangs out. Cause I, you know, I don't have long bangs anymore, which I wish I did. I'm so mad at myself for cutting them. Okay. So I take, let's see how much, take about this much here. I'm looking in my mirror just so I can see what I'm doing. And so you can see like that much. And I get a Velcro roller and I, just hold it nice and tight. Okay. And then I have some bobby pins and I bobby pin it just so it doesn't budge. So it stays on, stays in or, you know, doesn't start. My hair is fine. So this helps keep it intact for, you know, overnight. Right. So. Heatless curl, curler hair. So I put it through the Velcro. Try to make it sort of even. Okay. And then I'll start to grab. So for instance, I'll grab this piece here and I'll start to wrap it around the curler. And as I'm almost done with that piece of hair, you can see there's a little bit left, I'll grab the next section and I'll wrap it around. And I'll just keep pulling. You see, this is honestly so easy to do. I just keep pulling. Oops. Hello, Archie. Do you want to come in? Watch mommy. <laughs> Do you want to come in, Archie? Okay, so now I'm done with this much. Yeah, I think I pretty much got to the back of my head here. So I'm going to grab one of these. And we're going to keep twisting it. Now, obviously, someone that has a lot more hair than myself, that's much longer. They won't have this much left, but I do. It's going to come out. I can just feel it's not tight like it was the last time because I'm too darn tired. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to be as tight as it should be. Hold on, friends. There we go. Okay, good enough. The tighter you pull it, the more curl you'll have. For some reason, I always end up twisting this side a little bit tighter than the other one. Maybe because I'm left-handed. And grab. side's going to be looser, but I don't even care at this point. You're going to take the ends here and just twist them in the back. And there you have it. 